Uh, the State Department has refused an audit of a billion dollars spent in Taliban-controlled Afghanistan. Oh hell no! Okay, so we're not gonna we're not gonna do an audit. Why should American taxpayers know where that money went? Wow, <clears throat> we've spent more than a billion dollars in Afghanistan since the withdrawal. On on what? By the way, I was watching a uh, World War II documentary over the weekend, and in the advance that Germany made, the Blitzkrieg, into uh, Belgium and France, mm-hmm. uh, the French and British left behind, was it 85,000 vehicles? Because it, did did we leave behind more than that in Afghanistan? Mm. And we weren't even under assault? I, I don't know how many vehicles, but it was a lot that we left behind in Afghanistan. And... There weren't even tanks rolling through there. There was no reason for that debacle. Well, what was it? Eighty-five billion dollars worth of equipment. It was eight. Yeah, eighty-five billion. Yeah. So I don't know how many vehicles that represents, but quite a few, quite a, including aircraft, helicopters. Yeah. Uh, we had. Uh, I don't know if it's still over there on the shelf. I got to go check. But we had a breakdown of all the stuff there. Uh, how many, you said World War II, they had 85,000 85, vehicles? vehicles, yeah. Well, I know 42,000 pickup trucks were left in Afghanistan. Okay, 42,000 just, just pickup pick trucks. Just pickup trucks. Oh, my gosh. 22,000. Oh, dear heavens. Okay, it's 20, going, so it's going to be more than the World War II 20, Blitzkrieg. 20, well, yeah, 22,000, <laughs> uh, more than 22,000 Humvees. Okay. Uh, 1,000 armored vehicles. Jeez, so, uh, oh, my gosh. So you do 23 plus the 42, you get the 30 minutes. You get the right? 30 minutes. So you got 65,000 <laughs> So it's going to uh, be close. Right it's there. pretty yeah. close. And again, ha- had Unreal. all the time in the world to withdraw if you wanted to. Yes! Yes! You didn't have to leave a single vehicle behind. Not a single aircraft. Or helicopter. Nothing had to be left behind. No humans and no military equipment. But we did. Anyway, the State Department says it will not comply with an investigation request by the Special Inspector General for Afghanistan Reconstruction, or SIGAR, to look at uh, the reconstruction expenditures that have totaled $146 billion since 2002. The U.S. Agency for International Development and the Treasury Department refused to cooperate in any capacity. <clears throat> I mean, wow, lawlessness. People are, I mean. There's absolutely no accountability. None. This government doesn't care. This this report will go nowhere. Yeah, because the media doesn't care either. Yeah, yeah, they'll keep asking and they'll keep ignoring and. Then just let it go. Yep. While the State Department was selective in the information it provided pursuant to Seiger's audit and quarterly data requests, the report reads, the State Department and U.S. aid refused to answer nearly all of Seiger's quarterly data requests regarding agency-supported programs in Afghanistan this quarter. <laughs> State and U.S. aid claimed without basis that U.S. programming in Afghanistan is unrelated to reconstruction activities. Oh, no, okay. All right, well, then we're done here. Yeah, we're done. We're done. I I do not recommend this, but, um, boy, it'd be tempting if the IRS comes to you and says, hey, we're going to audit you. Just be like, you know what, tell you, why don't you audit where my tax dollars went in Afghanistan? Yeah. Cooperate with that audit, and then I'll get back to you. Because the answer is no. I'm not going to show you anything. Yeah, try that and see what happens. <laughs> see what happens. It, won't, it won't go well. The U.S. withdrew from Afghanistan after 20 years of war in August of 2021, leaving behind thousands of allies and American citizens. 13 American service members were killed, of course, as the Taliban took control of the government in that uh, suicide attack. Boy, yeah, and that Veterans Day mm. live stream fundraiser that I did on Friday with just absolute heroes, you know, <laughs> talked about that. Uh the people that we left behind yeah. and, and just what happened to them. And it's just so horrific and um, it's shameful and it's not America. That's what no, sucks. You know, that's not what we do. Well, that's what uh, Chad Robichaud said. Um, he's special forces um, and retired, but he put together a group of 12 special forces guys mm-hmm. and they went to Afghanistan, mm-hmm. a lot of it funded by uh, Mercury one and rescued 12,000 people. 12,000 people. And he said, 
when he got the award for Mer- Mercury One, um, he got a, a humanitarian award, and he said, "Look, this isn't even this isn't my job. I shouldn't be doing this. Right. I shouldn't have to do this. This is the job of the U.S. military, and that's exactly right. The U.S. military should have gotten all these people out first. Then you can withdraw. Mm-hmm. Should have gotten our equipment out first." Well, second, after the people, you get your equipment out. Yeah, and you could have done... Could have done all that. There was no reason to leave like that. You could have gotten the people out of there on the down low before you even started to move yep. equipment out. Yep. And by the way, yeah, I, I, I'd highly recommend that on Amazon Prime. Uh, I'm sure it's available other places, but uh, it's 60 Minutes, the documentary, Send Me. And it goes through, Chad, and others' uh, heroic efforts. The, during the chaotic uh, final days, send me. Yeah. Anyway, by the way, can I please take a moment to thank everybody from the bottom of my heart that donated to that live stream for veterans' causes? Um, we've raised right at four thousand dollars so far, and I appreciate nice. it so much. We're gonna leave that open until noon Eastern on Wednesday and split it down the middle. Mighty Oaks, One Tribe, um, and it's uh, givesendgo.com slash veterans in need. Uh, thank you for putting that up there, Kayla. Give sin.go.com slash veterans in need. We got a couple more days to donate. Uh, thank you so much. If you enjoyed this video, hit like and subscribe to our channel so you'll be sure to see similar videos from Blaze TV with the added bonus of signaling YouTube that your voice and opinion still matters. And if you're looking for more great conservative content, check out one of the two videos suggested here. And let's go, Brad.